morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my kitchen. I used to work in coffee. I worked in it for many, many, many years. Worked my way up from the bottom, all the way up to being a night manager of Diedrich's Cafe in San Juan Capistrano. Uh, man, I love that place. I miss that place. I miss Diedrich's so much. That's where I found this coffee. And there I learned how to make a cappuccino on the sly. Uh, I'm putting in two and a half tablespoons of sugar. And if you happen to have some kind of deliciousness around the house, like vanilla, some caramel squirt that you put on top of ice cream, or maybe you just have pancake syrup. Either any of those will do. Put a little bit in there. This is the, like the last of everything that I have. And that's what's going into this. Just a little tiny bit of milk. And this here is like two days old. That is the stuff. When you're closing the store up, you don't want to heat up the La Mazzocco machine because, well, it, it's supposed to be heated 24 hours a day. What I mean is dirty it up. And so you learn how to do things on the sly and uh, then you take these tricks home with you and they end up saving you lots lots of money. Oh god, that's delicious. Vanilla, sugar, cappuccino. Oh man. I don't know if you guys saw my previous video, but this Highland Guatemala tastes like dark chocolate. It's great. So, uh, hopefully you guys picked up a little trick to save you a bunch of money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It smells like brown. The best of browns.